snowstorm on Thursday, April 3rd, 1975. More than one foot of snow fell, and strong winds pushed the snow into towering 15-foot drifts. Uh, Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, you got a story here. Yeah, this is a story. <laughs> Snowstorm, a whole snowstorm, as far as I was concerned. Uh, on the 3rd of April in 1975, it started to snow. <laughs> and uh, just a, kind of a little prelude to it, I was the president of the Simcoe County Hosting Club that year, and as was custom with the club to take a bus trip to uh, a neighboring county to view herds in, uh, in that county. Three or four herds we would visit on a day and, and back home. Well, <clears throat> uh, fortunately the, 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 the trip was, was canceled hastily. And I've often thought later, had we been 75 miles, miles away from home, the snowstorm hadn't quite um, got going at that point, we wouldn't have been home for three days. And uh, meanwhile, cows were being milked and tank, bulk tanks were full and overflowing. And, and, uh, and on 27 Highway, North of Bondhead, I can, the vehicles were abandoned one after another. The hall in Bondhead was full of people sleeping on the floor. And uh, snowmobiles were hauling milk from Charlie Kersel's just down the road to the hall. Food was being snowmobiled up from Schomburg, from a bakery in Schomburg to keep these people fed. And uh, along our road, where the road was below the field level above it, the snow had drifted off there. Cars were abandoned. Eventually, were completely out of sight in the snow. And, uh, <coughs> Snowmobile clubs were very active at that point. <laughs> they were going along this, the, above this row of cars on, on our road with metal detectors trying to pinpoint the vehicles before the bulldozers came along to move the snow off the south side of the road. And um, it was, uh, well, like I say, it was, it was three days before before uh, things things were opened up, and I know I remember my brother took our snow 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 blower down into somewhere down in West Quillenberry to uh, where the milk truck had finally got that far, and roads were being cleared, and and he made a trail for that truck to get to our place to unload our tank. That was a uh, uh, and also talking about snowstorms, another one that when I talk about the 1975 snowstorm, they, there's recollections of a snowstorm in 1977 that, that I wasn't really in my memory bank. It did a lot of uh, damage in the Niagara Buffalo area where approximately 30 people were. I can remember seeing pictures on the television of, of the snowbanks in, in Buffalo where halfway up the houses the door was four feet below the snow and they couldn't get open. People were crawling out upstairs window to get out of the house and those sorts of things. So that was a storm that wreaked a lot of havoc the second year, but that wasn't one of those that I had any recollection of. All right. Thank you, Charlie. Um, Charlie was talking about people um, staying at the Bond Hit Community Center. There were 175 people that were stranded that took shelter in the Bond Hit Community Center. 175 people. And they were fed by, I guess, Charlie said by local families.